Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rifts, Beards & Gear, I thought we would shoot out a couple of different Mark IV mode channels versus an actual Mesa Boogie Mark IV. So a couple of months ago, the Mesa Boogie Mark VII, which I have here with me today, uh, came out, was released, and in it, it had a Mark IV mode, and instantly the amp got a lot of comparisons to the previous iteration, the Mark V, which I have here at the bottom of the stack, and how those modes compared specifically to the Mark IV. Each one of these amplifiers has a Mark IV version on channel three, and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of, you know, mess around a little bit and get some tones and compare it to my actual Mark IV. Now, before we go any further, this video has a sponsor and that sponsor is Sweetwater. They have provided me the Mesa Boogie Mark V for all of your Mesa Boogie needs, whether they are Mark or not, head on over to sweetwater.com. I will link down below in the description. Now, before we get on with the audio, let's just get a few things out of the way. All three of these amplifiers are wildly different, okay? So the settings, we're gonna try to get these as close as possible between all three amplifiers, and I think I have a pretty good starting point. However, you know, the Mark IV modes compared to the actual Mark IV amplifier, I mean, you know, they're wildly different amplifiers. For one, the Mark IV has an input gain as well as a, a gain control for the lead channel, channel three. Okay, so you can really goose the input as if it were an overdrive. None of the other amps feature that. Actually, I don't think any other Mesa Boogie amps have featured that since the Mark IV, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. However, you will notice that the EQs are generally pretty close to each other, but we will get into some of the major differences tonally, or at least visually, with the dialing in the tones and how they differentiate from each other in just a little bit. So I'm going to use my Mark IV, which is a 2008 model, very, very late Mark IV B. And I'm going to use that as my, my test, my, my control, as it were. This is the tone that I have. I'm using my Les Paul Custom, and I'm using it because it has the Willie Adler Fishman Fluence in it. This is basically his favorite Duncan JB modeled in an active form. And these pickups were literally dialed for this amplifier. That's why I'm using this guitar. It is well suited for the Mark IV. Sounds great. Sounds like this. Sounds awesome. Now let's go through the Mesa Mark VII and the Mark V tones that I have currently dialed in. We're gonna dial them a little closer, but I, I have them. I have them fairly close, I think. Here's the Mark VII. And last, but certainly not least, the Mesa Boogie Mark V. All right, those are the tones we have to work with. For me, it's pretty wild because on the Mark VII, the gain setting is like one o'clock, one, one thirty ish whereas the Mark IV and the Mark VII are basically maxed out, which is pretty nuts. That gives you an idea of how absolutely gained out the Mark VII is. I'm not complaining at all. I just thought it was very, very interesting because even with the input boost on the lead channel of the Mark IV, it still can't compete with the gain in the Mark VII. Pretty nuts. So, to my ear, starting with the Mark IV, has a, a lot of low end. Switch to the right pickup. Which I could dial out a little bit more. 
and I'm gonna use the graphic EQ. <laughs> The Mark IV has a little bit more low mids than the Mark VII. I'm going to bump up the low mids on the Mark VII just a smidgen and see what that does for us. Also, the mid range is slightly different as well. I'm going to bump up the 750 on the Mark IV just a little bit. Yeah, I think it's more of the upper mid thing that's happening. I actually like the voicing of the Mark 7 a lot as how, how it's sitting right now, which is why I'm trying to get the Mark 4 to kind of emulate that a little bit more. I'm gonna dip down the 750 just a smidge. <laughs> That's pretty close. That's not exact, but that is definitely ballpark for me. Let's go to the Mark V. <laughs> Could use some more gain on the Mark the Mark V. I'm gonna turn that up. I'm also gonna add a little bit more of the upper mids because I think it sounds uh, pretty congested right now. <laughs> dip the mids the 750 on the mark 5 and yeah let's see where that sits <laughs> I think I actually have a little bit too much top end coming in on the mark 5 I'm going to dip that just a tad. Hear how the mids are shifting? The mids aren't sitting in the same place at all. This could be due to power tubes and preamp tubes. And obviously they're widely different amplifiers, but we're gonna continue to kind of try to dial these in. <laughs> I feel like the Mark 7 and the Mark 5 are pretty close. They're not exact, but I mean, in the context of a mix. It's pretty good. And both of these sound different than the actual Mark IV. The Mark IV has this bigness in the low mids that I really, really enjoy, and I don't want to take that out. Let's try to dial that in a little bit with the other two. I'm going to really bump the low mids. Let's see. Let's see where that goes. This could be horrible. Horrible. 
Yeah, the mid-range is just sitting a little different with the Mark IV, isn't it? I keep riding the line of scooping out too much mids and not enough mids. The Mark IV has this bigness about it, but it also doesn't have that sharp top end that these other two have. It's just, it's just really nice sounding, isn't it? Okay, so what do I think? For me, the Mark IV is still one of my favorite amplifiers of all time. I've used the hell out of this amplifier. However, with the Mark IV, there's a lot of caveats to, to using this amp. The clean channel is cool. The rhythm channel is not that usable in my opinion. The, the Mark IV is also extremely noisy, and I'm sure you've heard it in the microphone. This fan, which is a replaced brand new fan, is absolutely very, very loud here in the room. That does get annoying. Also, the amount of functions to dial in a specific tone can get overwhelming, whereas I feel like the Mark VII and the Mark V are more streamlined, boiled down versions of the best offerings of the Mark IV. Now, for me, the Mark VII is, is the king as far as simplicity and versatility. Whereas the Mark V, as you'll notice, and very interestingly, the gain's pretty much maxed out on the amplifier, whereas the Mark VII is just a little bit past halfway, and the Mark IV is actually com almost com totally topped out with the gain as well. So, does the Mark VII cop the Mark IV feel and thing and flavor? In my opinion, very, very well. I would give it a 90 percentile. Now, does it sound exactly like a Mark IV? Honestly, I think it's close enough for me. And if I was reamping and using it in the context of a mix, no one's going to actually say, hey, that's not an actual Mark IV. So for me, the 7 is the best out of both of these flavors. Now, the Mark V was for a long time a lot of people's only way to play a Mark IV tone. And now that we have the 7, you know, we just have a newer generation of that much beloved flavor. I will link down below in the description to full information on all of these amplifiers. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.